Hi, welcome to the floor where DVDs live. So I thought I'd just kind of go through a bunch of these uh, these DVDs that I've made throughout the years. Uh, well, not really throughout the years, probably from 2007 to like 2012 was probably the last time that I like legitimately made one of these. Um, this was one of my favorite things to do as a kid uh, when I would make videos back in like 2007, 2008. One of my favorite things to do would be to make the videos and edit them on like Windows Movie Maker on like my Windows Vista PC. And uh, what's what's even cooler than Windows Movie Maker was the fact that there was another application called Windows DVD Maker. You can make your own DVDs. And that was awesome. Um, but uh, I, uh, I I put together pretty much all of the DVDs that I that I could at least find that you know I didn't lose when I was a kid. And I put them together in these uh, in these cases, and I organized them uh, pretty much around like 2016, which is when I put these together. I kind of went through a bit of an archival phase where I was just like, I kind of want to make sure that I organize all my old stuff because who knows, I might I might want them, I want to see them again, and you know, I, I just kind of got into a big archival mindset, I guess. Um, so I found all the DVDs that I burned or I got. Um, that were like, had like, I don't know, old stuff that I did on them. And I, uh, I bought these, uh, cases at Best Buy. These are like transparent DVD cases and they can hold like six discs or uh, maybe even more. I think, I think it's six, but they can hold like six discs in them. And I just thought that was perfect. Uh, so I just kind of printed off these generic, whatever, uh, covers just to, uh, organize it all. And uh, any like uh, extra, whatever, if, if the uh, old DVDs I made had cover art or if there were uh, inserts or something, uh, I put them underneath the, uh, the generic box art that I made. So like right here, these are, these are school projects pretty much. So these are DVDs that I either uh, made in school or I got from school. So as an example, uh, these two discs, like these aren't anything special. It's just disc one and disc two. This was like the first time that I ever saw somebody write disc with a K. Um, but these were from the the news team I was on in fourth grade. Pretty much the thing with that, uh, that news team was that fourth graders, you would have the chance to sign up to be a part of like the news team. And every Friday you would build up, you would work on uh, throughout the week, a news broadcast to be broadcast in all the classrooms on every Friday. And, uh, each team member, like you do a, a different thing every week. Uh, so, you know, like one week I was the weather guy. One week I was the sports guy. One week I was the anchor man, whatever. Um, and then some weeks you'd run the camera. Some weeks you'd run the teleprompter. Some weeks, uh, some, some weeks you'd, uh, you'd edit, which pretty much, uh, amounted to you watching the librarian who ran the uh, ran the news team, you'd watch her edit, um, and you would do you would hit whatever button she told you to hit, uh, and then that's that's just the DVD of a bunch of the stuff I did in fourth grade that I got at the end of the end end of fourth grade, and uh, Dare, Dare was great, uh, as you can see this uh, this was the. Uh, this this originally came in like in a regular CD case, and this was probably drawn by another student, and they used this. They used like the winning drawing, I guess, as the cover. Um, but there, drug abuse resistance education class number forty of Fallen Timbers Middle School will be graduating April twenty eighth, two thousand nine, at the A W High School Auditorium. Uh, okay, so that was probably a. Uh, whatever, like a pamphlet given around. Uh, the one thing I really liked about D.A.R.E. was the fact that I think my D.A.R.E. officer uh, turned out to be an alcoholic. Uh, I think she might have been drunk during the D.A.R.E. graduation. I at least know that there was like an open container of alcohol in her car, and because of that, uh, she was suspended. Uh, I just think that's a fun story to tell, that my D.A.R.E. officer was an alcoholic. And then this was... Um, this was... I believe from like a computer class or something like we got to uh, we got to burn our projects to a DVD or the DVD itself might have been like the final project was burning all your stuff to a DVD and creating a menu and all that stuff. Um, 
but hopefully this shows you what these what these DVDs I, I made are pretty much all about. Uh, so I, I have these three volumes of raw home videos. By that I mean uh, around like 2010 or so, I think, uh, my family uh, borrowed a DVD recorder from uh, another family member, and we uh, transferred a lot of our VHS tapes, our VHS tape home movies, over to DVD. Uh, the problem with that were it was a lot of these, um, a lot of these DVDs were super just unorganized, and they were getting scratched up. They weren't really well maintained. They, it was really hard to like. If you wanted to find a specific home movie, which I don't really uh, on like a day-to-day -day basis, but you know, in the future, if I ever wanted to like look back to like, oh, so this is what my first baptism was. I don't know why I went specifically to my baptism, and if I ever had multiple baptisms, but yeah, if I, if I wanted to look back to that, um, it might be kind of hard to find that. So in 2016, this kind of went along with uh, with my archiving phase, I guess. Um, I went through and I ripped all these DVDs to my computer, and I digitized. I basically made digital files of uh, of all these movies. I edited them so then. Uh, like just as an example, uh, as we can see, that's probably why, because I opened this a little bit ago and I remember Scott baptism and Scott's first birth. Um, pretty much the thing with these is that, you know, like I said, like, look at that. This is February 98 to July 98. Uh, I ripped these to my computer and I made it. So then, uh, the baptism would be one file. The first birth would be another file. Christmas 98 would be its own file. So it's just like, if you wanted to see specific things, it would be a lot easier. Look at that. I went to Gettysburg. I rode a bike. Grandma's 75th birthday. Limo? Some, she had a limo for her 75th birthday. That was fun. So these are just raw. Like These these are like the original discs we, uh, we burned um, from transferring the VHS tapes to DVD. And then I actually took these and I, I turn them into digital files. So these aren't really that worthwhile anymore, but they are worthwhile to at least keep. Uh, and that brings us to the meat and potatoes here. We got Wozniak News. Now, uh, I think the main thing is with Wozniak News, I know what it is. And if you're on Scott Stash, you at least have probably heard of it. It's probably kind of difficult to understand what the hell it actually is. Um, I've never really given context to it that much, and uh, I don't know. I I, I want to eventually. Uh, it's just kind of, <laughs> it's just kind of hard to because you know, like I'm not in any rush. It's not that important. Uh, but I think eventually I'll I'll give like more context to like I don't know, my the, the stuff I did before the current YouTube channel. Uh, just because you know it's not necessary, but I know a lot of people. It, it kind of. If you go through Scott Stash, you might be like, what what the hell is all this? So, Wozniak News, pretty much, uh, I always loved writing and drawing and all that stuff. I always loved uh, making stories, and uh, I would always take advantage of every single, like, creative writing time we would ever have in school. You know, like, those times in, like, elementary school where they probably go, like, okay, like, for the next 30 minutes write a story and all that. I lived for that kind of stuff. I know other kids hated it. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, in third grade, um, there was a prompt, there was like a writing prompt we had where we had to write like a story about probably like a current event or something. Um, I, it might've been like, oh, like there was a tornado that hit like this town, write about it. Um, and I'm, I wrote my story in, uh, in the context of I was a news anchor and I was, it was a really dumb, stupid news show and it was called Wozniak news. And, uh, when I read it in front of the class, everybody seemed to really enjoy it. So I kept on doing like whenever there was a writing prompt, I'd try to make another installment of Wozniak news. Then when I got a camera, when I got my own camera, I decided I'm going to make a video version of Wozniak news. It wasn't, Really that, it was just kind of me in front of my desk just saying random stuff. I was like 10, so it, it was it, it was destined to be bad. But um, I kind of kept with this brand for a while, even if it didn't make any sense. You can probably find 
uh, on Scott's dash, like things labeled as Wozniak news and you'll watch them and you're just like, this is just Scott doing dumb skits. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like I, I didn't, I didn't really hold to the whole news show thing. I think my mentality was as it went on, like, because I just wanted to do skits, but I didn't want to give up the brand of Wozniak news. My mentality was, oh, it's news about my life. So it's called Wozniak news. Uh, in 2012, I actually got a, I actually had a good idea and decided, wait, actually, that name doesn't make any sense. I should probably stop doing that. But, uh, since I liked making videos, uh, called Wozniak News, I, I liked the idea of it being its own show. And, uh, I also love the idea of making DVDs and specifically DVD box sets of it, like season one of Wozniak News. And we can see that here. So, uh, here we have the, uh, the uh, original cover art of the first DVD I made in Windows DVD Maker. So I used Windows Movie Maker to edit these videos. And then I used Windows DVD Maker to burn them onto a DVD. And that was awesome. That was like the coolest thing ever when I burned my first DVD. Because while they only gave you like a few different menu templates, they, they looked pretty high quality. Um, and it was just really cool to see like my videos on these templates of like these cgi dvd menus it was really cool at the time and i really loved the idea of like designing my own cases designing my own box art and stuff like that um so this is season one and as you can see here uh it had eight episodes uh i, I believe it was originally supposed to have seven and then i turned that into an eight uh, I have no idea what that... Okay, okay, I think this is what it is. So, uh, Scott, this is like my drawing of me back in the day. Um, I was skateboarding in this season. I was a chef. I was a chef. Uh, that might be another skateboard. There's me smiling. Uh, that's like me... <laughs> dumping a, a, a box of something. There's That's a bubble, I think. Um, I think I was, I think I was running out of, uh, different colored Sharpies. I only had like red, green, uh, and, uh, I, I would use other DVD, uh, DVDs as templates for like what to do. So I would take the box, I would take the cover art out of the case and I would like lay it out flat and I would like trace it. So then I could cut it out and I would have the right dimensions and I would ha have a good understanding of like how to... Uh, like create the layout for the dvd case because like i obviously i obviously did this by hand wasn't that great at it because you can see this is where the spine should be and then this is where <laughs> you can see wozniak new season one kind of drifts off there um i guess for some reason i did i had to white out the the dvd logo there all right let's see uh that may look like blood apparently i was i was painting something and then uh then i got all this red paint on me uh, and i have a little beret there uh get ready for the whole first season of wozniak news get april fool's day in this dvd i think that was like the first video that i did was like an april fool's day special um uh many great episodes just in one dvd box set 48 minutes uh let's see so these are the dvds from volume eight pretty much uh i tr I, I tried to make i tried to organize these all so then they were uh, relatively in the order of, in chronological order. So I remember this was the, this was the disc for that release. Uh, we'll probably take a look at a few of these. But uh, yes, apparently there was a chef episode in this one. I, I don't remember that very well. Uh, I remember a few. I remember, I remember a few here and there, but I don't remember the chef one. But apparently there was eight episodes in this one. Uh, and then season two, this is season two. Uh, the thing is with this is, um, I don't, I don't remember where the, uh, where the art for season two went, like the, the, the cover art. The only one I could find was season one. Uh, the thing I did most of the time was I would, um, I would harvest DVD cases. Like if there was a DVD, I, I wasn't using that much anymore. Uh, like an actual DVD, like a DVD bought at the store, I would harvest it. I would take out the disc, take out the art. I would just throw it, throw it to the side. Now would uh, I would make a uh, whoops. I would make my own DVDs with them, pretty much. I just realized there's whiteout on here too. I think that was supposed to be like, 
I don't know, a mess since it's like, oh, it's Chef Scott. And he, he, he made a mess on the floor. Um, okay, so as you can see, this is how I drew myself. I used to have blonde hair and then the hair eventually turned brown. Um, so I love the idea of the um, the little, like when you would, when you put, when you would uh, put a DVD in and there would be that little spindle, whatever you want to call it, um, on the inside, or at least like in the case. Like, see that design? It makes a nose. That's why the face is right there. Um, so that's disc one, disc two, um, and then disc three. Here's the thing. Um, the seasons of the original Wozniak news that I was making, like, these were pretty much, like, I was just making videos for fun, and I was just, like, whatever, barfing them out, and I would just, like, make DVDs. Half the time, the seasons didn't matter. I just liked making season box sets. I like That was, like, my dream back then was to make my own season box set of something it was it was really it was it was what i really wanted to do because i loved i loved uh, season box sets for shows i really liked because they always had like cool art on the disc and they had cool menus and they always had commentaries and uh special features i loved that kind of stuff and i loved the box sets that were like really big where they were like multiple uh multiple cases maybe and they would have like a cardboard sleeve and stuff like that i really liked that and i just wanted to make my own back then so half the time, these seasons didn't even matter. Half the time I would take episodes from season one and put them on a DVD and call it season two. So it, it doesn't really matter. These are just kind of like more DVDs I made just because I, I had I had a free day um, sometime in June and I decided to make, uh, make these DVDs. Uh, so the, the, those were the three discs for season two. And then these, I just kept on doing the same like, oh, it's his nose shtick. Uh, these, I'm pretty sure, were just supposed to be, like, um, special release DVDs. So, like, I like doing the complete season box sets, obviously, here. And then these might have been, like, you know how some shows, when they went on DVD, you would have the season box sets, but then you'd have, like, single releases that were just supposed to be, like, I don't know, just an assortment of random episodes? I think those are what I was trying to go for with that. Um, all right, on to volume B. I don't know why. I, I don't know why in 2016 I went for, I went for letters. Uh, let's see. Third season. Oh, the top ten episodes, man. I definitely only made. Okay, so no disc, uh, no cover art included here. That that was a that was one of those special releases that wasn't a wasn't a box set. So the third season of Wozniak News. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, why the why the third season only had uh, only had one disc. Unfortunately, uh, season four also only one disc. Uh, so that was the thing. I think those are two of my friends. That's my old dog Chase. Uh, that's. That's a character that was like the antagonist of the show, the evil raccoon, um, which that was just kind of like a character that I did for the stories. Um, I don't really think I ever, I don't, I don't know if I ever really incorporated that character that well in, in the, uh, in the videos, in the stories I would do in third grade. I was just like, Oh man, there's an evil raccoon in the studio. Oh man. Uh, that's a ferret. I think, uh, <laughs> Season five, disc one. Okay, those the exact same characters. Uh, okay, Wozniak news. The complete ninth season. We went just. This is like an immediate to the eleventh degree right here. Just go from season five, season nine. What happened to six through eight? I have no idea. Here we have a louse. Um, I made a made. I, I tried to make some cartoon episodes. I tried to make some animated episodes where, uh, I don't know, I had, like, lice, and I drew them as cartoons. And so that's a louse, I think. Um, I have no... So, disc two. I don't know what this is supposed to be in terms of, like, season numbers. I can't really tell. All right, so Wozniak News, volume C. This one's already going to be a little more interesting. So uh, these are two copies of the Wozniak News game. As you can clearly see, I still was trying to do the no stuff. Um, so you might go, wow, Scott, you made a game in Windows Movie Maker and Windows DVD Maker. You're right. Um, I just, I just really wanted to make my own game. 
And uh, I just, I, again, like, I just like the idea of releasing the game. I didn't really, I didn't really want to learn about how to make an actual game. I just like the idea of making a game and having, like, a case and cover art and disc and stuff like that. Um, basically, the Wozniak News game was just supposed to be, um, it, it was literally just stuff where it was just a standard video, pretty much. And the game portion was pretty much like, I don't know, I'd, I'd speak to the viewer and say like, oh man, um, like we have to win against this guy. We should bet against him or something. And I'd tell the, I'd tell the player, uh, all right, place your bets right now. And then you'd have to bet what would happen. You'd have to predict what would happen in the video. And if you predicted right, then you'd win. But there's no way, no, it was literally just a video that played where I spoke to the viewer, I think. And I just like, and I, I just tried to come up with creative ways to make it seem like a game. The fact is, I, I basically said, oh, it's releasing for all these platforms. Pretty much it was just releasing for platforms for game consoles that could play DVDs. So this is the PlayStation 2 copy, of course. Um, I'm actually interested in seeing what this was all about, pretty much. I'm, I'm interested in uh, revisiting this because I, I have not seen this in years Wozniak News live in Hollywood that's another like special release that was supposed to be just an assortment of random episodes I think I actually saw saw that disc right here yeah I was getting a little better I was getting a little better at design there so live in Hollywood Hollywood WN of fame I think that was supposed to be a pun for Hollywood walk of fame my god God, that was rough. Uh, time to go to HW with Scott. Fame, fortune, and wood. <laughs> that's, that's classic. Uh, so yeah, uh, this was like supposed to be one of those special releases. You know, like the you know, kids DVDs where it's just like, oh, it's like a SpongeBob DVD and it's literally just an assortment of random episodes and it has like a somewhat overarching theme. That's what that was supposed to be. Um, let's see. Okay. It's a Wozniak News Christmas. I made like a little dumb Christmas album, pretty much. Um, these are a bunch of characters that were on WozniakNews.com and in Wozniak News Magazine. So I had like a magazine and a website that I was doing at the time, too. I really I really wanted to do this kind of stuff. This was very important to me. Uh, so the lice are back! Uh, that was another... Like I said, there was an episode with lice. Um, and I made a lot of cartoons with them because I was like, I, I just, I just took whatever I had and I just kept rolling with it. Like I wasn't even, pa I wasn't passionate about making videos about lice. It was just, I made a cartoon where I had lice and I just kept making them because they were easy to draw in Microsoft Paint. Um, uh, there's a, there's Feeble High Guy. That was a, I, I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to describe that. IGN videos. I downloaded videos from IGN and uh, I burned them to a DVD and then I would, I would watch them on a portable DVD player in my car on road trips with my family. I, I didn't watch them with my family. I, I would sit in the back and watch IGN videos like old Wii reviews on my portable DVD player. That's the thing. That's It's really hard to explain why I enjoyed that to people who also don't watch those types of videos about games. Uh, and then we move on to Volume D. Uh, this is the most recent one. Or at least these are these are more uh, recent ones. Uh, season 1. Uh, season 1 YouTube. So these are... These are um, DVDs of the YouTube seasons, pretty much. Or the, the Season 1 of the YouTube show. So pretty much... Uh, I believe this is on Scott's dash at this moment. It's just Wozniak New Season 1 from 2010. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't trying anything fancy here. I think this is my way of backing stuff up. So this, this is just Season 1 of the YouTube show, pretty much. Um, with bonus features there. And then we have... Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, season three, part one. So this is season three of the YouTube show. This was when I still, I still like doing this. Um, like I was still doing the YouTube videos and I wasn't doing as many DVDs as usual. Uh, also, this is like the first time these, these discs are the first time that I actually 
did these on a Mac, so I used the, I used iDVD to make these. And iDVD is way better than Windows DVD Maker. Like it's way more in depth. You can do a lot more with it. Um, so I actually liked iDVD DVD quite a lot because there was a lot more customization. And uh, you know, like there was a time probably in like the summer of 2012, I was a little bored and I was just like, you know, I haven't made a DVD in a while. And you can see a drastic improvement. So here's the thing. Um, I started to just print off the DVDs, the DVD uh, cover art or the disc art that I would make. Um, I printed these off um, via a printer and I would glue them on. And that's this is on there pretty tight. Um, this is on there pretty well. So you can see the design is much better. It's it's just a collage of, uh, of episode frames. But this is way better than what than what was happening before. Uh, disc one had a similar design to this. The problem was uh, I didn't I, I didn't cut it properly, and because of that, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't read properly in a lot of DVD players because you know there was there was paper on it pretty much. So I had to rip that off so then it was actually readable. And then this is just a this is just a backup of random stuff I think. Um, but we can we can definitely see a dramatic increase in the quality of uh, of DVD uh, cover art with me with this one. This was 2012 pretty much, so uh, I I believe I think yeah this is 2012. Um, and like I said, I just got I think I just got bored uh, one day and I was just like I'm gonna make another DVD. You can see this is so much better. I, I was getting much better at this. It's still not amazing. But uh, you can see, like, I, I cut myself out there. Um, I put myself there, and I just had a little design thing going on. Then this is the first half of season three of the YouTube Wozniak News. Um, there were multiple YouTube Wozniak Newses. This was the final one, and this was the best one. Still not great. But uh, as you can see, we have the first half of the season there, um, which that got ended pretty quickly. That got ended uh, probably, like... Four episodes after this, I, I called it quits um, just because, um, I don't know, I just, I, I, that was when I realized, like, man, I should probably move on from this branding because it's not doing me any favors. Like, the only people who understand what Wozniak News is are the kids in my third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade classes. Um because like I said, I did a website and a magazine, and that was that was actually pretty popular among like my classmates. Um, but after that, I kind of I stopped <laughs> doing that, and uh, and I just kind of continued doing the YouTube videos. And I just said to myself, I should probably try to do something if I want more people to watch what I do. I should probably do something that makes more sense than this because this requires a lot more context as to who I am and you kind of have to know me in real life to understand half of this stuff. That's why, uh, that's why season three ended, um, uh, pretty quickly, I guess, you know, we have special features and stuff, but, uh, yeah, uh, might as well check, uh, might as well check these DVDs out. Okay. So I have, wow, everything just fell out. Okay. So, uh, we got to try out season one, the original, the original release here. Uh, I have, have, uh, computer with uh, a disk drive set up here so uh, we got to see uh, got to see if it even runs I'm not actually sure um, because a lot of these are pretty uh, they're pretty scratched up they've been through a lot but I do remember exactly what this menu was uh, let's see so you can see uh, over there it says uh, it says Wozniak news okay there we go I, like I said, I specifically remember what this menu was. Uh, like I said, it was like all 3D. I remember, Ed, you can listen to that music there. Yeah, that was just, I, I believe that was completely generic stuff that Windows DVD Maker just completely just, it just gave to you. So I remembered um, you had the, uh, you could play all, there were all the episodes there, and then, uh, I think the uh, the only other thing Windows DVD Maker let you do is that you could have another menu that just had a uh, that just had text. Uh, but I remember I showed this to one of my friends, and I'm pretty sure my friend thought I did like all the graphics and stuff, and they were like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "All right, let me. I'll just uh, I'll just keep uh, keep at the uh, keep them thinking I did all this. Let's see all the episodes here." 
you can see uh, it's it's pretty slow <laughs> because uh, it's not the it's not the healthiest DVD. Uh, yes, I believe you could also change um, like this whole uh, whatever the uh, the icons here. I opted for circles, I think. This was the first video I remember. This was the first episode or epi video I made. And as you can see, it already froze. It's Wozniak news. I had title. I usually would put the title at the first. For some reason, I put this little like effect or something. I don't. I don't. You can barely even hear what I'm saying. But as you can see, this is what I was going for. Okay, at the desk, I'm a news anchor or something. I'm doing a puppet show apparently. I was 10. We're moving on. Uh, going back to the menu. Uh, uh, so what? I said there's eight episodes? Because I, I think there were more. <laughs> or maybe uh, maybe it split stuff up in terms of like a scene selection, I guess. Well, these are out of order because that one was the first one that I remember. I think maybe, because I think these are all supposed to be from the same video. So maybe I just split a bunch of these up as their own video, like it was a scene selection. Yeah, this might be just like a straight up just scene selection. It may not even be like a per video selection. Uh, my God, this is <laughs> this is ungodly slow. Uh, come on. All right, let me go back. I at least have to see the titles. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, okay, titles. Please, God, give me something good. All right, all right. So this we can. Uh... <laughs> okay, so April Fool was the first episode. Talk show time, second. Record breaker, cartoon time. What's cooking up? <laughs> I think I was I was trying to be clever there, but apparently not. New home. I I actually remember that one. I think that was. If you saw the scene where I was, like, laying outside somewhere, I think that was what that episode was. Book non-writer. Good one, Scott. Scott turns into a cartoon. There are two cartoon episodes. My God. All right, so that was uh, that was season one, or at least the first... The first... Uh, the, the first... The first DVD that I made. Um, I'm interested to see what season two would be. I just realized half of these discs fell out. All right, I got them. Okay. So uh, let me see what season season two, disc one contains. I'm not gonna go through every single uh, every single season two disc. Uh, if this don't if this one doesn't work, then we can try out the the one of the other three. But oh my god, season season three disc three only is 18 minutes long. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is what I did here. Uh, I took a, uh, I took I took this song from Attack and the Power of the Juju, uh, <laughs> trailer, and I made that the theme song of this uh, of this show pretty much. Okay, there I am, going wild. Um, there we go. We have all the episodes there. I like I like the intro. Oh man, I remember this intro. Look at that. Starring Scott Wozniak. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, let me see what this one's all about here. Uh, whoops. Well, that just fell. Okay. So these ones, I have no idea what these ones are. Uh, they could be anything. Let me see. Okay. Let me eject that. Let's go to town on these. Okay. So it comes up as the best of Wozniak news. So I was right. This is just kind of like a typical release. What is this song? Oh my god, I don't remember what this song was. I am I know I ripped it from somewhere. It's either from a game. It's probably from a game. It's from probably from a very cartoony game. But I made that the menu music, I guess. Okay, so scenes. Let's see, the best of Wozniak news. It's gonna look the exact damn same as all the other, as all the other DVDs. Let's see. Oh, shoot! <laughs> so I actually put some effort into this. So, like, there were the scenes here. If you hit play all, there'd be a little, uh, there'd be a little whatever, 
a um, a beginning that would show you like, oh, this is number ten. This is the name of this. I need to. Uh, I need to. Okay, because I want to see what the what's next thing. What is next? I gotta see. Oh man, it's freezing. I better prepare the next one. Let me see. Okay, so we got this one. Whoa! Well, the news, the complete second season will come out December 2007 with laugh out loud great episodes. Well, we already saw season two, so technically speaking, that's uh, that's where the the chronological uh, the chronological DVD archive messes up. This ep this disc came out before the season two set did. I'm gotta I gotta be honest. I probably made the season two disc set like two days after I made that one because uh, I, I, I like doing it so uh, let's see okay we got that one uh, the other one let's see what this one's all about here all right all right okay this is just Wozniak news again this is just Wozniak news again uh, and there's no title it's just more of the same as you can see I just liked making these DVDs all right, so uh, let's see. So uh, I already did, I already did the best of release. So uh, this one's top ten episodes. So this may be interesting. I have a feeling there might be a chance that I just wanted to make a DVD that day, and um, so I just basically did the exact same thing as the best of Wozniak News release. But let's see. All right, this one's this one's all Wozniak News top ten. Um, okay. All right, scenes. Uh, actually, yeah, this is different. I really like the episode called Book Weirdo, apparently. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure that song was from the, the Drake and Josh TV movie on Nickelodeon. So I muted it just to be safe. But, uh, yeah, Scott's memo. Let's see, what does that even mean? Hi, it's Scott. I'm watching The Wiggles now, so I have to make this fast. Yeah, you see, that's a classic, uh, that's a classic 10-year-old uh, Scott humor right there. <laughs> I'm watching a little kid show, so I'll have to be fast. WN season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are out now, and season 6 will be out in late July. Oh, wait, do I put the DVD on the DVD player inside with the picture on the bottom? Oh my gosh, it's on fire! Um, yes, I like how I'm acting like uh, these are out for sale. I was literally the only one who ever watched these. All right, okay, next up is... The third season, uh, this one noticeably, uh, I mean, like, I guess compared to the season two discs, uh, this one's pretty lackluster. I gotta, gotta hand it to myself. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to be on this one, because like I said, I did a lot of just repeats. I would literally just take whatever videos was on the computer at the time that I made that were like Wozniak news videos and, uh, and I put them on a DVD pretty much. So yes, Wozniak news, complete third season. Is the exact same menu as before. Uh, I gotta see Scott's memo. That's that's the core thing I care about here. I'm really interested to see what I had to say for this one. Hi guys, the WN fourth season is coming out in July. Don't you love it when you buy the third season of something and the only special features on the DVD is telling you when the next season's gonna be out? This DVD has all the good episodes and some from season one and two. You see that? Get ready to laugh out your guts. Oh wait, that's terrible. Uh, let's see, uh, I can probably find all the, uh, all the older episodes here by just looking at the scene selection. Um, yep, there's the, uh, there's the first one there. Look at me right there. Chase, that was my old dog. That was a good dog. All right, moving on. All right, uh, we've got season four. Let's see what's this, what this one's all about here. What else do we have here? We have five, disc one, don't have any other discs. Uh, the ninth season, so this, these were good DVDs because they were just completely blank instead of, uh, I always didn't like the fact that all the blank DVDs that I had always had, like, all this garbage on it, whatever. Uh, this one was nice because, uh, you could specifically draw on it. Complete fourth season. This literally looks the exact same. Oh, this time I was calling myself SW. I saw that. Uh, let's see what SW has to say. Hi, I'm Scott. The Wozniak News Complete Fifth Season will come out in July. Season one, two, three, and four, which are have, which you are having right on this here DVD player. Um, bye. I remember myself being a way better writer than this. 
All right, season five. All right, so this is only disc one. Uh, hate to say it, but I'm looking forward to when I uh, when I actually had a uh, iDVD because iDVD you could customize the menus a lot more, so they were a lot more interesting. Um, but I'm still I'm I still like going through these because I haven't I haven't put these discs in in ages. Oh, so we went back to the first season's menu layout. Well, we got to check out SW's memo. Can I have mustard on? <laughs> Can I have mustard on that? Oh, hi. You have the complete fifth season of Wozniak News. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just realized the way I wrote these memos are kind of how I write my tweets now. With W1 bloopers, a music video, slideshows, and a trivia game. Season 1, 2, 3, and 4, and what you're watching now. Season 6 is coming in August. I wonder if there's... Season... I assume that means... I wonder if there's a season 200... I guess, I don't know. Listen, I would play the trivia game, but since it's Windows Movie Maker, you could see, uh, stuff wasn't labeled, so I'd have to go through literally everything. Maybe someday. But we gotta check out the ninth season. I have high hopes about this one because, you know, look at that. That's actually a good design. This is when I was actually figuring my stuff out. Uh, this might be an iDVD one. Who knows? Because I remember, uh, my mom, for work, she had, she was able to bring home a MacBook or like a PowerBook at the time. And uh, I, I used it to make to make some stuff like uh, on iMovie and iDVD. Um, nope. Oh no, this is iDVD. Those are the lice. Uh, okay. Uh, episodes. This is great. Oh my god, I was actually able. This was uh, This was my iDVD stuff. Ah, uh, was it? Was it? I think it was. This is iDVD. I think. Wow. I don't remember, I don't remember a lot of this. <laughs> I remember a lot of this, but I don't remember a lot of this. It's a baby. Uh, features. This might, this might have been Windows DVD. If, if this is just, yeah, this is Windows DVD Maker. Never mind. Hi, it's Scott. The features are storyboards, deleted scenes, sneak peeks, a series of trailers, trivia games, Wozniak News completion. I don't know what that is. And many more. Uh, also seasons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are out. This is season nine. <laughs> Season 10 is coming January 2008, and watch the, for the movie. Oh, because I wanted to make Wozniak News the movie. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I just wanted, I just wanted to release stuff at that point. I was just like, I'm gonna make a movie. So uh, I pretended I was making a movie or something. I probably tried to, I guess. I probably, I probably tried to like film some stuff, but it literally like me filming a Wozniak News movie in 2007 was pretty much the exact same as me just making random ass videos. So, all right, I have no idea what this one is. I assume this was before season nine because season nine was actually when I was starting to get my stuff together because you know, look at that, that's actually, it's actually pretty good quality. Um, but I have no idea what this one is. It just says disc two. All right, oh, this is best of Wozniak news again. Man, Scott, come up with, okay. So also uh, in the Wozniak news canon, um, Nine News, like Channel Nine News, was where like I technically worked, I guess. Um, so, so uh, it was Nine News because I was nine when I came up with it. Yay, Scott's not here. So me, the evil raccoon, will read his memo. Huh? Can I have some chips? Do these pants feel damp to you? What is eight to zero? He's dumber than milk. Well, the Wozniak News season one, two, three, and four, the, one, two, three are out, and season four will be out in July. ER out. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, all right, let's move on to volume C. All right, so we have uh, we have two copies of Wozniak News the game. Might as well start with the first one, since that one was made for the PlayStation Two apparently. The Wozniak News game! Exclamation mark. Uh, all right. What? <laughs> Scott, uh, the thing, what, <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I, I think the que it was like a trivia game that you didn't interact with, it was literally like a trivia thing that you were just watching, so then like, I don't know, like I'd be like, hey, what's this, that's just a stock photo that you get with Windows Vista pretty much. Um, let's see. Why? <laughs> the news. 
the things. All right, I'm gonna. We're going to the menu. We gotta. We gotta figure out what all this means. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this. Uh, look at this stuff. Okay, so. See what I did here? It was pretty smart of me. New game, that's play all. That just plays all the videos. Load game, that's a scene selection. Game tips. I gotta hand it to myself. That's uh, I was pretty creative. I was pretty creative using Windows DVD Maker as a, as, as a way to make... Okay. The W1 game is a game of trivia, card, and sports. You have to answer trivia, play card games, and bet your votes on who's going to win. So it's, it's pretty much literally like, okay, so you'd... There would be questions in the video, card, I forget what the cards were, and then sports, betting. It's literally just bet who you think is going to win. That was the game. Now, I'm interested to see what the uh, what the PlayStation 2 port is all about here. So, I'm pretty sure this is just the same thing, or I just tried to do it again. What was the name of Arthur's book? Yeah, so it was like a trivia question related to like an old... An old video I did, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So, the PlayStation 2 version is inferior in every way. Alright, next up we got... Wozniak News live in Hollywood. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say... Uh, the menu is gonna be that red one that has all the spotlights and the screen. Son of a bitch. Oh, look at that. That's that's really cute. Okay, so it, it says like, okay, so the red carpet is play all. Film is the scene selection. Script is the memo section. Let's see what the memos are. Let me let me guess. Wasn't well, news complete fifth season is coming out soon. This is Scott W. Season one, two, three, four, five are out on DVD, and season six is coming out in late July. That was close. Wait, do I press play on the DVD player? Okay, wait, do I put the DVD with the picture on the bottom? Okay, ah, fire. All right, next DVD. All right, uh, the lice are back. This is another like uh, pretty high quality one for for my uh, for my capabilities at the time. Uh, look at that. These are all the cartoons that you see. They're, they're lice uh, features. Let me see. Wow. Features include deleted scenes, storyboards, and promos. Nice. All right, now we're on to uh, Volume D here, which uh, these these are going to be a little more interesting because I don't remember I don't remember a lot of uh, a lot of these. These were definitely made in iDVD, which makes them far more interesting to me personally, because I could do a lot more with iDVD. So this is season one of the videos of the Wozniak News series. That was on YouTube. Everything prior that we've been looking at, that was stuff that I just did by myself, pretty much. That I just I just put on DVD, and that was about it. Okay, so this is a little more interesting. Look at me, okay? I have a bloody nose. Um. Okay. <laughs> That's a little interesting that I did that. I also kept the Apple logo there. In iDVD, you could you could choose between, oh, do you want the Apple watermark, or you don't want to have the Apple water watermark. I don't know why you'd want the Apple watermark. As you can see, we have a, it's, it's definitely a little better here. Um, but let me see. The nice thing here is that you could label the videos, which I liked. Okay, so, uh, uh, I think, like I said, um, the fact that I didn't put a ton of effort into the discard makes me believe, uh, the only reason why I made this was for backup purposes, I believe. So, I'm, I don't know. I mean, it, because, like, well, I mean, I also, uh, I forgot to, uh, <laughs> turn the volume on. There might have been music there, but I'm not sure. These are bonus features, which are more interesting anyways. All right. Never mind, okay. We have some bonus features, but we also have the rest of the season. And no music. So, I was correct. This this is probably made for backup purposes. Behind the scenes. Let me see this. Oh, shoot! He's, uh... You're just straight up, uh, whatever... It was a it was a sub menu. That's neat, uh, but yes, I don't think these are anything that uh, that you couldn't <laughs> that you couldn't see online already. I'd assume. 
With the lack of effort I put into this DVD, I'm pretty sure I didn't make any exclusive content for it. But this is more interesting. I think like this is when I actually knew what the hell I was doing with iDVD and the sort. So I'm actually interested to see the season three menus. All right. All right, yeah, as you can see, I think um, I think this is like, I, I specifically made this menu for it, as you can see. I don't remember what this music's from. It's probably from another YouTube channel, a YouTube video. Um, I don't remember what that music's from. But as you can see, this is slightly better. This is better, uh, this is set up much better. But we have the special features on disc two. I think disc two is literally gonna be the same menu set up pretty much, but it's gonna, it's gonna have, it's gonna have fun bonus features. Oh, okay. I might've actually remembered what that song. So I'm sure I got it off of YouTube somewhere, but I think, I think that's a cover of, of the, uh, let me see, is it here? No, it's not on this disc. But like, I think that, that song, I gotta, I gotta go back to it. <laughs> That's the thing. So, uh, okay. I will say the layout's okay. The layout's not that bad on this. It's not very exciting, but I liked how I had control over like where I could put the, uh, the thumbnails and stuff like that. And, uh, where I could, uh, like, I don't know, the, like, the, the thumbnail on the thumbnails, like, I don't know, and the background and, like, the text and all that stuff. I loved how I had control over that in iDVD. Okay, I swear, that's definitely a cover of the, uh, of the, um... There, there was like this stock, the, like when you but when you have Apple products and you use like iMovie and stuff like that, uh, you get a lot of like music that Apple like just like Apple has for you. One of the songs was called Kickflip, and it's it was like the the song that I used as kind of like the uh, the theme I guess for Wozniak News. Let me see. Uh, we're not watching that. No, we aren't. Okay, uh, but uh, I think this is like a cover of that. That's definitely a cover of that. If this was done by, this is definitely done by a YouTuber. I'm sorry, I didn't get your permission back in 2012 when I made this just for myself, but um, I swear. I just don't know what it would be. I, I have to I have to look that up. Um, I have to look up if somebody did like a cover because that sound that's that's basically the same song. So I'm legitimately interested in that. But yes, those were that is my history of DVDs that I made. Uh, thank you for enjoying this with me. If you did, I have to question a lot about your sanity.